We don't have to pretend it is Amazon Prime Day deals, and I know a lot of us are spending some time yesterday and today purchasing things for our next cruise. We will share some of our favorites with you on the show today, and you'll have the opportunity to do the same. We'll also share an update as Amanda and I are cruising. We leave our house two weeks from today. We're excited about that, and we're excited to share news from Carnival Cruise Line. It's not every day across the industry that something new is offered, and that new thing is free. Today, Carnival Cruise Line offering something new, sharing that it's free for ships across the fleet. We will share that with you on the show today, and records continue to be broken. The demand for cruising is high. We will share the latest record that was broken in the cruise industry. We all need some time in the islands. Let's go there now on Island Time. A big happy Wednesday to all you Islanders. We are halfway through the week. We hope that you're having a great day, and we are on Island Time. I am Derek. Let's take some time to relax in the islands together. Let's drop our anchors as we catch up on the latest in cruising and cruise news. In case you don't know, we hope that you are part of this community. If you're not subscribed to this channel, ring the bell to receive notifications when we upload content, our daily show. And as I mentioned, we cruise. We leave two weeks from today, cruising on the Carnival Breeze, which we have sailed on over and over. We are anxious. We are excited to bring you content of our voyage. A short four-day four -day cruise. Should you travel on a four-day cruise? Should you go to where there's only one port of call? Be sure that you're following us. We will share our experiences with you. Let's get to the latest in cruise news. Uh, part of the cruise news today is shopping. A lot of people cruise to shop. You know those people who shop on board. They shop at ports. Some people spending hundreds or even thousands of dollars on jewelry and perfume and, and goods and medicine, things like that. Today is a day that we shop, maybe more of us than even usual, as Amazon is having their Prime Day deals, and we have picked up some awesome things that we use already, and we're saving some money on. For instance, we're going to be on our cruise in two weeks. We need sunscreen. We, need, we use Neutrogena Beach Defense 70 SPF. It's on sale for just over $6. We picked that up. We picked up waterproof phone cases. We picked up a new camera bag as well. We picked up motion lights so that when you get up at night uh, to use the restroom, you get up to, uh, to get a drink, you can put a motion light in certain parts of your cabin and the motion light will come on so you don't have to turn on the big lights and wake your significant other up in bed so they won't be mad at you. We also picked up uh, non-surge protected power strips as well. Uh, those are approved by cruise lines to use. We picked up luggage tags even as they are on sale for just over $4 for the, for the type of luggage tags that we use. I'm sure we're not the only ones trying to save a little bit of money on Prime Day deals. Let us know what you picked up in the comment section below. We cannot wait to hear from you on how you saved money. Let's talk about something new. Let's talk about something free. News today, unexpected news from Carnival Cruise Line. As they shared, we're going to give you something new. We're going to give it to you free. And part of this is already uh, in existence. It already takes place. It already happens. But part of it is new. Carnival Cruise Line announcing that they are expanding their free wine offerings at their specialty dining restaurants. For years and years, all of us, or most of us at least, have known that one of the secrets to booking the steakhouse on the first night of your cruise, and even the second night of your cruise, is that you could receive a free bottle of wine. And that's helpful when you cruise at a certain places that cheers does not work. New York City, Galveston, you, could, you pay the same price for the steakhouse and you receive a free bottle of red or white complimentary wine. You even receive discounts on other bottles of wine as well. Carnival is taking this concept, this notion, and expanding it to other specialty restaurants and adding on to the deal. We're excited about this. Carnival Cruise Line sharing that a free bottle of wine will be available for other restaurants like Rudy's Sea Grill, Lavaggio, Gigi's Asian Kitchen, and Cucine del Capitano starting on September the 1st. So if you eat at these restaurants, not just the steakhouse, but these other specialty restaurants on the first or second night, you will receive that free complimentary bottle of wine. An additional perk, a new perk, and a surprising perk because these specialty restaurants are popular. They book out, most of them, 
way in advance or as passengers get on the ship. So it's interesting that they offer this incentive. You think that they would offer the incentive if bookings were slow, but most of the time they're not. Thank you, Carnival Cruise Line, for including this. Now, this bottle of wine is good to be used on, or you can, you can receive it, get it as a gift, that first or second night, which used to, it was just for the steakhouse. Now, it is those other restaurants. This offer is valid if you book your specialty dining restaurant before your cruise or when you get on board. It does not matter. It's valid either way. And a new change is that a bottle of wine is going to be given to every two people. Several times Amanda and I have booked specialty dining and we've done it as a couple of four or a party of six and you receive one bottle of wine. But now you receive a bottle of wine per two individuals. We're excited about that. It's something new. A lot of us enjoy uh, these uh, specialty restaurants and Carnival is even sharing if you don't like the house wine, you can select other bottles of wine. Any bottle of wine below $100 is 50% off. How exciting is that? Of course, you can take, you can purchase the wine and take it with you if you would like to. And the biggest perk of all, as we are set to sell from Galveston, many of you know Cheers does not work in Galveston and in New York City the first day, go to the steakhouse, get this free bottle of wine if you are planning to already enjoy a specialty dining restaurant anyway, and save a few dollars again on that first day selling. Uh, this this offer, of course, it starts September the 1st. It is not available, though, on certain ships, all XL class ships, Mardi Gras, Celebration, and Jubilee. This offer will not be available uh, for Cucine del Capitano on the three XL class ships. We are excited about this. Do you eat specialty dining? Do you book that first night or second night because of their free bottle of wine? Will you now book that first or second night in these specialty restaurants because of this announcement? Let us know in the comments section below. Let's talk about records as they are meant to be broken. Another record, Caribbean record, is broken as the Dominican Republic has announced that they have seen a record number of cruisers. More than 1.2 million cruise guests have visited the Dominican Republic the first six months of 2023. In June alone, there were over 144,000 cruise visitors uh, to the Dominican Republic. That is an increase from 2022 of just 78,000. Almost double uh, the cruise visitors from last year to this year, uh, 84%. How about that? That is cool. 44 different cruise ships are part of this record. 44 different cruise ships have arrived to the Dominican Republic so far. All of the major lines from Celebrity, Royal Caribbean, Norwegian, and others visit some port in the Dominican Republic, and it's only going to go up because there are two new ports of call being built in the Dominican Republic. They're gonna be ready in 2023 or 2024. They expect to add over 20,000 new cruise guests or can accommodate 20,000 new cruise guests per day Amber Cove, uh, a lot of people enjoy Amber Cove. We've been there several times. And of course, there's other ports of call in the Dominican Republic. We enjoy it. Cruise lines like it as well because it is close in proximity to the United States. And so they save on fuel by, by visiting the Dominican Republic. Do you enjoy it? And what do you usually do when you visit the Dominican Republic? I'll never forget visiting those 23 natural either water slides or cliff jumps. Uh, that Amanda and I took part of. It was so much fun. We enjoyed that. Islanders, that is the cruise news show for today. We hope you enjoyed the show. If you can't tell, we're using a new camera. I hope you enjoyed that as well. If so, give us the like, give us the thumbs up. We would love to see that, of course, and bear with us as we continue to make some upgrades here. Hopefully they're upgrades. We're gonna see what this video looks like. Leave your comments on this show today. I can see now we've got a new screen here that I can see. Hopefully the clarity is better and everything else as well. We hope you have a great day. We can't wait to see your thoughts in the comments section below. We'll see you on our Facebook page and tomorrow right here on Island Time.